Hey there, well watchers. My name is Wifey Well, and today we're back with some more of Fallout New Vegas. And last episode, we um, scheduled a meeting with Benny, and then he just kind of disappeared. So we're going to see if we can catch him and shoot him this time. You're back. Find anything? I did. He's what? Ah, jeez. Jeez, this is really bad. What are you gonna do? Take him out. Jesus. Okay, well, if you think that's the best way to deal with this, I'll send him up to his room. You can ambush him there. And don't worry about the rest of the chairman. I'll keep him from getting involved. You'll still have to watch out for Benny's guards, though. Go on, then. Elevators are past the slot machines on your right. All right, let's try it this way then. And there was a lot of information we got last episode. Morning. Past the elevators. This crazy slant. And basically I was like, do I, do I go with Benny? Do I go with Mr. House? But like, I don't like that Yes Man disappeared. I kind of like him. Just like, you know, I like victor and you know i like all the robots for some reason i don't i don't know why i'm trying to marry them all but i want to work with yes man i don't know if that's an option but i'm going to see if i can get that canoodled I comped you the prez so we can talk there, eh? No need to keep tugging at my sleeve. I comped you the prez so we can talk there. Okay, so that worked, I guess. I didn't get to deal the finishing blow, which makes me slightly sad, but... You work for me now, Don't yes, ma'am. just love that platinum chip? Buzzes with power and possibility, doesn't it? If I were you... I'd almost want to deliver the chip to Mr. House, just to learn all its tricks. That is, unless you want to bring the NCR or Caesar's Legion to power, I wouldn't want to tell you what to do. Oh, he wanted to kill Mr. House to and use the all this. chips to copy my neural computational make That would give me control. Sure, if the chip can... I'll be waiting right here. It, maybe we can work with him. I would love to work with him. Hmm. And I don't know if it's a good path, so to speak, and we've been playing the game kinda good. But like... Yellow. Dang it. I 
I want his head on the mantle. Like, I want it facing out. I give up. That's good enough. <laughs> Listen, Boone, okay? It's fine. Let's just get this evidence out of the way. <laughs> See, it's, you know what, even, even better. What was that? No, no, hold on. I just went like super speed. Maybe it's just because I got used to carrying him slow. This isn't creepy. And even better. You hear that? They know I've killed Benny already. I'm trying to get him on the toilet nice and beautiful like. I know this is a waste of time, but this is the guy that shot me, you guys. I want him to I want him com com comfortable. I want him you know, humiliated. Ugh. I feel like we're giving him a swirly. You know what? That's fine. That's how people use the bathroom, right? So, we have the chip. Don't see any of his guards. They're all, they've all been dismissed. We can still go into the presidential suite. I feel like this is the best of both worlds. We can kill the wizard of New Vegas. I don't care. I don't like him. Plus he has like a you know what robot thing happening. We won't fall for his tricks this time. See, that's what I get for trying to be good. We got used. I thought there was one more book. Oh yeah, there's all these. We'll go to, we'll go talk to, what was his name, Frank? We'll go talk to the guy downstairs that helped us. And then we will, um, and then we will, oh, I forgot the one room, shoot. We will go to Mr. House, I guess, and kill him question mark and then yes man also said like i could give him the chip then kill him or just kill him so we might have to do another save and see what i want to do i don't know yet your name was frank right swank is benny taken care of yet he sure is Guess that makes me the boss. Ring a ding. Don't be a stranger, doll. I'll marry you. That's fine. He told me I just have to sit here and look pretty. Oops. Wrong button. I can do that. Ugh, ugh. The 
eyes of the mighty Kaisar are upon you, he admires your accomplishments and bestows upon you the exceptional gift of his mark. Um. Any crimes you may have perpetrated against the Legion are hereby forgiven. Kaisar will not extend this mercy a second time. My lord requires your presence at his camp at Fortification Hill. His mark will guarantee your safe conduct through our lands. Go to him, and you will understand. Seek Kaisar by way of Cottonwood Cove, south of Nelson. The Corso Luculus will be waiting. The Corso Luculus? Get back over here. Kaisar awaits. <sighs> Whatever. We have more quests than we know what to do with. I'm not complaining, because that means we're going to be playing this for a very long time. I assume there's probably achievements related to which path you take in the game. I could make some saves that I don't delete and eventually do all the achievements, but I'm really enjoying this game. I'd almost rather just play through it again. Well, howdy, partner. Good to see you again. Boss is waiting for you upstairs, so get a move on. Victor won't die, right? I see you brought some friends. He better not die. That's all I'm gonna say. Where to, partner? Uh... I don't remember where he was. Okay, good. Well, hello, sugar. Mr. House is waiting for you in his office. What about the snow globes and stuff? Would I still be able to do that? I don't know if this is a good idea. Oh. I'm nervous. Because I know this is a big decision, and I'm, I feel like I'm taking it very lightly. So, Benny has been handled, and you've recovered the platinum chip. Let's have it. I'll be happy to. Our terms were clear. Now that you have the chip in your possession, any attempt to renegotiate payment would be tantamount to blackmail. Such a small thing, isn't it? And yet so capacious, so very dear. Decades of hiring salvagers out west to search for this little relic in the ruins of a place called Sunnyvale, back then, anyway. That's where the chip was printed, on October 22nd, 2077. It was to have been hand-delivered to me here at the Lucky 38 the next day. But the bombs fell first. Suffice it to say, the delivery was never made. Some things are more easily shown than told. Take the elevator all the way down to the bottom level, and you'll see what I mean. Don't worry, you'll like what you see. We have much to accomplish, you and I. you did not know is that these are 
the Securitron's secondary weapons. All this time, my Securitrons have had to get by running the Mark I operating system, which lacked software drivers for their primary weapons. Today, with the delivery of the Platinum chip, all that changes. Behold, for the first time, Securitrons running the Mark II OS. The oh, I don't like that face. Ooh, that's creepy. And a rapid fire G28 grenade launcher ensures the Securitron is deadly in close range engagements. The software upgrade also includes drivers for the Securitron's highly sophisticated onboard auto repair systems. Altogether, the Mark II software upgrade confers a 235% increase in combat effectiveness per unit. The city of New Vegas finally has soldiers worthy of protecting it. Return to the penthouse now. We have much to discuss. Jesus, this makes me think of, like, Terminator. Trips to the basement are rarely so educational, don't you think? I've since broadcast the upgrade to every Securitron uh -oh. in range of my transmitters, and I must say, it's causing quite a stir down on the strip. To secure the future of New Vegas, I must have your assistance. The work ahead is dangerous, but you weather danger well. The next step will require you to infiltrate Caesar's camp at Fortification Hill. I want you to open a hatch in the basement of the derelict weather station atop Fortification Hill. You'll recognize it on sight. The hatch bears the logo of the Lucky 38, same as the Platinum chip. Something very important. I wouldn't want to spoil the surprise, so don't bother asking. You can't, but the chip can. The hatch will recognize the platinum chip and open sesame. I'm not offering you an incentive as crude as money, though there'll be plenty of that. What I'm offering you is a ground floor opportunity in the most important enterprise on Earth. What I'm offering is a future for you and for what remains of the human race. I've resurrected Vegas, spirit intact. What I need now is the ability to enforce my rightful claim. Not just against Caesar's legion, by the way. In fact, the NCR is a more present and insidious threat. To enforce, one must have force, a position of strength. Years ago, when I detected NCR scouts roaming the Mojave, I could tell from their uniforms that these were no mere tribesmen. I knew it was only a matter of time before an army appeared to take control of the dam, and I knew my Securitrons wouldn't be enough to oppose them. And so I recruited the three families. Vegas belongs to me because I mustered enough strength to bring the NCR to the bargaining table. Indeed, it was, and still is, but not without taking significant casualties. Would Kimball and Oliver have traded the lives of hundreds of soldiers for absolute control of Hoover Dam? Oh, yes. They weren't afraid of me. They were afraid of Caesar, that attacking me would leave them vulnerable to a legion offensive. And so they negotiated, not out of the kindness of their hearts, as they try to make it seem, because the calculus of power left no other choice. NCR forces were permitted to occupy Hoover Dam and establish a military base at McCarran Airport. Well, it 
used to be one. They recognized my sovereignty over the Vegas Strip and agreed to supply electricity and water once their engineers repaired the dam. Written into the treaty were provisions that the NCR do nothing to prevent its soldiers and civilians from visiting the Strip. That's how I harnessed the NCR to my endeavor. Their occupation has been the engine of my growing economy. The salient issue is that they will go to war with me if given the chance. There's just one reason why the NCR hasn't contrived some outrage to justify invading the Strip. Caesar's Legion. The final battle between those two armies is fast approaching. I can't afford to let either side win on their terms. What else did you want to discuss? <sighs> That's because he ceased to be relevant when you recovered the platinum chip. Revenge doesn't interest me. Progress does. Sorry to deny you a moment of primate triumph, but you'll have to go elsewhere to sound your barbaric yawn. What else did you want to discuss? I just feel like I don't like him. General Oliver's strategy, or tunnel vision, as I like to call it, has been to mass troops at Hoover Dam. He wants to outfight the Legion in a straightforward slugging match, and then, when they rout, pursue and destroy them in detail. A crushing, decisive victory of this sort would overshadow the tactical ingenuity of Chief Hanlon's defense four years ago, you see. A good deal should be obvious to you by now. I won't spoil the rest by talking out of turn. What of it? I enjoy them. There's something about the little diorama set inside a glass dome that I find pleasing. If you run across any out in the wastes, turn them in to Jane. She'll compensate you. What else did you want to discuss? You know, maybe I need to keep him alive, at least for a while, to do the snow globes. Uh, Hoover Dam, of course. A hydroelectric dam. The NCR had it up and running at 50% capacity within a year of occupying the dam. By treaty, New Vegas receives 5% of its output. More than enough. What else did you want to discuss? It was a place of splendor. As magnificent as today's strip may seem, it's but a shadow of the neon paradise that was Las Vegas. I grew up not far from here, and though I traveled the old world extensively, I never found another place like it. By 2065, I deemed it a mathematical certainty that an atomic war would devastate the Earth within 15 years. Every projection I ran confirmed it. I knew I couldn't save the world, nor did I care to, but I could save Vegas, and in the process, perhaps save mankind. I set to work immediately. I thought I had plenty of time to prepare. As it turned out, I was 20 hours short. On the day of the Great War, 77 atomic warheads targeted Las Vegas and its surrounding areas. My networked mainframes were able to predict and force transmit disarm code subsets to 59 warheads, neutralizing them before impact. Laser cannons mounted on the roof of the Lucky 38 destroyed another nine warheads. The rest got through, though none hit the city itself. A suboptimal performance, admittedly. If only the platinum chip had arrived a day sooner. The platinum chip was printed this. in Sunnyvale, California on October 22nd, 2077, the day before the Great War. It was to have been delivered by courier the following afternoon, but by then, the world had ended. The chip contained vital software upgrades, but not just for my Securitrons. Every aspect of the missile defense grid would have been upgraded too. Given that I had to make do with buggy software, the outcome could have been worse. I nearly died as it was. Software glitches set off a cascade of system crashes. I had to take the Lucky 38's reactor offline, lest it melt down. 
For nearly five years, I battled power outages and more system crashes until I finally managed to reboot my data core with an older version of the OS. I spent the next few decades in a veritable coma, but I survived, obviously, and eventually thrived. What else did you want to discuss? Good. All right, that is a lot of things to talk about with him. Um, assuming he said we can give it to him then still kill him so the option is still there All right we did I think we were going to do bloody mess but let's just make sure There's one rank of us. I can carry fifty more. Maybe we should, I don't know if we should do the here and now, or if we should do bloody mess. Yeah, screw it. I want to take it right now. Mostly because I want to put it into this because I've noticed lately we've been getting screwed because of our barter skill. Okay, so I believe I can still murder you. Right? Yeah. But I feel like I want to get all the snow globes first. So maybe we need to like ignore all of this stuff. And all these DLC things. I feel like I know we've spent like the last two episodes listening to all this, but like, yeah, I feel like we should work on some of these other quests that aren't so serious. It gives us more time to think about what we want to do. Okay. That's what we'll do. Penthouse floor. Um, take me to my floor. I have a bunch of crap to drop off. I think I was just. Oh, where did I put all my stuff? Here? Here? Uh. I thought I put a bunch of stuff up somewhere, but maybe I didn't. Hmm. See? These are cool, and I want to collect them all. 
I would assume if we don't do it, we won't be like if we kill him right now, we won't be able to. I could have swore I put stuff up. Now I'm nervous. Boone has all my crap too. I bet that's why I didn't put anything up, if that is true. So what all can I... I just, I feel like we need to... Ooh, what does this do? We never looked. So this is 9mm. Damage per second, 64. 105. There we go. That was most of our weight. I'm just kind of throwing everything in here, and I really, really hope that, um, my stuff won't despawn. This one has weight to it. See, whereas this one doesn't. Maybe if I read that, I'll get a skill point up. What was it called? Pugilism Illustrated. Unorb increased by four, okay. Cool. So the ones that are worth fifty are okay. Now well, that got rid of a lot of our weight. We might not be able to stay here anymore though if we uh kill Mr. House, I don't know. I roll her sweet. Just take me down. Uh more. Thank you. Ugh. So basically, we're going to do some little quests around Vegas. And the one I picked, I think, was collecting the debt. There's a map marker. Excuse me, uh, but... Are you the courier who caused all of that trouble in the tops? Oh, great. The followers of the apocalypse, well, some of us anyway, have been interested in Mr. House's technology. How he stays alive. Of course, no one else is allowed inside the Lucky 38, so no one knows what's going on. Well, except for you. Right. We just want to find out what sort of technology Mr. House has used to stay alive for all these years. It could be of great benefit to the people we try to help, many of whom suffer from hard-to-diagnose illnesses. <laughs> Dr. Wifey Well. See, this is exactly why we just raised all of our barter. Ah, I see. I suppose I can give you some medical supplies for your efforts. I assure you, they will be worth plenty of caps. 
Great. I'll have the medical supplies for you by the time you come back. Here, take this packet sniffer. It'll allow us to intercept data on Mr. House's network. You might have to manually remove the encryption from his data network, but hopefully you won't have too much trouble. Good luck. Every time I come outside, somebody else wants to talk to me. That's two people in a row. Let's let's go back in and come back out. See if someone else wants to speak with me all of a sudden. Anyone else need my help? What's that guy doing with his arm? I'm glad he put it down because it was reminding me of a certain somebody from the 40s. And there is no place for that in this game. Let alone in this world. I want to try out Benny's gun. Look how sweet it looks. Alright, let's go on a hunt. What are we all doing? Hey you, um, I think I need money from you. Hello, lovely to meet you. I haven't the time to speak to commoners such as yourself. Bye. Hello, lovely to meet you. In that case, I suppose you're here to collect. I apologize, but I simply do not have enough caps on me to cover the debt. But I'm if the commoner. If recover my caravan from that cave, I could easily pay in full. But who would bother with such a mess? I'm short 90 caps or so, but I have a few cartons of cigarettes and some sensor modules I could put toward my debt. At this point, I'll have to return to California to start anew. I haven't got a cap to my name. Oh, well, that's what you get for drinking. Good going. Hashtag not my problem. Alright, who else? I love the Dr. Wifey well. That's just freaking hilarious. I loved it. She really is running to California, huh? You want someone dead? Really dead? Stop by the Silver Rush and we'll give you the means. Hungry? Thirsty? Horny? The Atomic Wrangler has you Hmm. That is a door. Well then, come to Mick and Ralph for all your She's still needs. running. Hey, hi. Come to Mick and Ralph for all your shopping needs. All right, where are the rest of these scoundrels? Oh, I see someone standing over there by a fire. No, 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 I need to talk to you. Stay right there. Hey, man. Can you spare a few caps? Um, no, actually, I need... Jeez. the garret set you after me look i've got the caps right here just don't hurt me okay here that's everything i've got except the clothes on my back i'm sorry about this yeah you better be sorry <gasps> anything take it just don't kill me man I won't. Thank you.
Thanks for not killing me. Now I feel like an ass. No, you can have your clothes back here. I don't. Oh, I I feel I feel bad here. No, drop it. How do I drop? There, put your clothes back on. Hey man, can you spare a few caps? Oh, now he's trying to warm up because he's so cold. I feel so awful. Oh well. It's just a game, right? One last person to collect money from. You? No? Definitely not. Hello? I've been in here before. I don't remember seeing anybody. Are they above me? Well, I did remember. I did discover there were stairs. Remember? Hmm. Oh, I see. Hello, you good for nothing. How are you today? Santiago is fabulous. Santiago does not owe anyone. Santiago is a free side guarantee. Indeed, Santiago is a poet among pretenders. If you're here to collect for the Garrets, Santiago is debt free. I didn't think she was upset enough to have me killed. Here are the caps I owe. I do the Santiago act to get out of paying for services every once in a while. I didn't think it could possibly get me killed. Mm. See ya. All right, well, that was swimmingly easy. Again, just the speech skill is so OP in this game. I love it. Maybe I need to just get it up to 100 so I don't have to worry about it anymore. Hmm? Hmm? That's not a door. Oh, that's right. We have to go back by where that little kid is. The women are cheaper? That's horrible. Wait, wait, wait. What did I miss? Here? Hmm. See, I'm not, I'm not good at, I'm not good at figuring out where to go, I guess. Hey! How's it working out? Oh. Too bad he's not dancing naked for us, huh? So, Benny's dead, huh? That shifty son of a bitch had it coming. I don't care how you handled those lumps of human refuse, but you got the job done. We need you to hunt down another person. What? That son of a bitch McCaffrey stole a ton of caps and ran off to Vegas. I guess the fact that we farmed out his usual work to you pissed him off. No one steals from the Garrett twins. If you can kill that bastard and bring back as much as you can, you'll be paid very well. <sighs> See the king. I'm sure he could work something out to get you in. You'll need to prove your worth is time, but it'll be well worth it. Good. Just stop on back when he's dead and you'll be rewarded handsomely. Bring his hat as proof of the kill. Till next time. All right. I guess we aren't done yet. I don't 
don't have to get permission every time, right? Well, that's good, because I was just hoping I didn't. Huh? Wait, where are my friends? I just realized they aren't following me anymore. Get, get your butts back over here. I need your help. I feel awful. I only just noticed. I've got your back. Eddie, follow me as well. And we gotta look for a Caleb Mc, McLaughlin? Mc, McGarfin? Mc... something? You mean this guy right here? Huh, so the Garris sent you to track me down. What a joke. I'd rather not waste the ammo, kid. But if you insist, draw. <laughs> Pretty good. Pretty good stuff. That's why the music had started. I mean, that works. Nothing good, though. Deliver these caps and then what? Go back to looking for their um, new dancers that they needed? Oh yeah, we gotta go. Man, that stinks. We need a better fast travel point. We're like the total opposite. Maybe they're... See, why couldn't I go through that door? Well, we'll have to remember that. Stop by the Silver Rush and we'll give you the news. Oh, right there, the Silver Rush. Okay, I took care of it. Some gamblers came in saying they'd seen you enter the lucky 38. I have to say, I'm impressed. Yeah, I don't I'm really know cool. Of any other living person who's been in there. I'm incredible. Yes! Where's his hat? This is great news. No one screws with the Garrett twins and gets away with it. I need to find a place on the wall for this. And for your reward, here's 150 caps. I trust there were also some valuables on the Caffrey. <gasps> Ooh, a room. Also, we would like to set you up with a room. You can have the corner room, rent free. It was McCaffrey's. Now that he's dead, we're happy to let you use it. Thanks for helping us. We have all sorts of rooms now. Bye. All sorts of places to live. People are talking, buddy. You've made quite an impression on the strip. You should, um... Maybe chill with the liquor. You're sounding a little slurred. What else do we need to do in this strip? No, where's the the strippers? Where was that one at? Dang it. Hmm. 
I have quest markers. I think the one's pointing at old Ben, maybe? Or are you? I hear Benny got force fed a little slice of heaven. Man, what I would have paid to see that loathsome little weasel eat it. And who would that be? I've heard some stories of that old guy. I'm amazed he's still alive with how much he's been through. If the stories are true, he'll be a valuable commodity here at the Wrangler. I appreciate the find. You are so, so, so welcome. Bye. All right, let's go find some more hot pieces of booty. There's like little ticks everywhere. One here, one there. Just the two. Is it safe in here? Are there any mines? So is this a fast travel point now? No? Hmm. Uh. Guess this way? I think it's implying someone's this way. Is it you? Hello. Better give the Securitrons a wide berth if you know what you mean. Those new upgrades look nasty. I don't think that's it. Is well, maybe it is. Oh. Maybe this is where the cowboy is. Oh. Oh. I think we found our subject. Howdy. Hey there, hot stuff. I've been around a while. Currently working for the followers is a gun for hire, but it's getting rather dull. Is Aside it? from protecting them from the occasional thug looking to intercept supply shipments, there isn't much to do around here. The one researcher I liked who I could chat up about liquor got transferred. And the rest of the docks are pretty uptight about my kind of fun. I joined up looking for a decent paying job. Granted, the pay's all right, but they won't let me kick back and slog a brew at the end of the day. They're worried the filthy drunkies and detox scene we drink will cause an immediate relapse. I say their rehab effort here is just a revolving door. I've been around long enough to observe the patterns of human behavior. Physical and mental anguish are especially exciting. Who doesn't enjoy a little pinch and squeeze every <laughs> once in a while? They already have that pig McCaffrey working for them. Do they need another guard? Actually, McCaffrey is old news. Uh, I've escorted my share of idiot tourists around Freeside. Too much trouble for what it no, pays. No, 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 no. You're not understanding. I'm all boot, knives, and leather, friend. And a cool besides. What kind of weirdo wants what I've got? Weirdos into bullwhips and necrosis, huh? <sighs> Doesn't sound half bad. What am I thinking? I'm no whore. And I ain't about to hand my ass over to some penny ante hustler like he owns me. Mm. They do have a damn good selection of hooch over at the Wrangler. If I get to choose my customers. If I get to be a little rough with them, 
If my cut is fair, and if I get that discount, that just might work. Tell the Garretts I'll stop by to work out terms. Nice. And I may have answers. What starts in misery tends to stay there. Freeside wasn't Freeside until six or seven years ago. That's when Mr. House's robots rolled out of the Lucky 38 and started pushing everyone who wouldn't join him off the strip. Lots of folks died. Some scattered to the winds. The rest wound up in Freeside and seemed never to lose the habit of living like refugees. What about them? Pretty much the sort of gang you'd find anywhere else. Just with better clothes. The king himself, though, he's got that something special you can't put a finger on. Too bad he likes girls with skin. <laughs> Too I reckon they bad. care about getting water and electricity from the dam. And that's where it ends. The locals here are just an inconvenience to them. Something to step over or stomp down. They're here for the resources, plain and simple. She means she has a lot. Before or after the human race shot itself in the foot. I've been around long enough to have both opinions, see. Before the war, Mr. House was a famous captain of industry. Robotics, to be specific. Seemed charming in interviews. Until he became a recluse. Since the war, though, didn't make a peep for near 200 years. But when he came back, he came back strong and killed a lot of people. I don't know how they do it. They're like saints, those followers. If they didn't charge for their services, I'd think they was crazy. But nah, they're just naive. It warms their heart. Couple of rad scorpions, those two. Gloria is the stable one, but she'd slit your throat if there's a prophet in it. Or rather, she'd tell her brother to do it for her. John Baptiste is one of the sicker humans I've had the displeasure of observing. What did you want to know? Yep. All right, well, we have our Hang sexy on. cowgirl now. So we just have one person left to find, and that is a uh, you know what bot. <laughs> so, but yeah, unfortunately though, we are actually out of time for this episode. We're cutting it close. So we're going to have to do that next time. And I know there's a lot of talking, listening to people talk the last few episodes. I'm very sorry. But as always, I hope you guys enjoyed. I appreciate you being a well watcher, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye!